I'll try that. You're in the Revit City Clinic. I'm Dr. Preston. Facial surgery is way too dangerous to try. Need special equipment and expertise. Hmm. Reminds me of this old hoax. Here, listen to this holotape. I thought you had the look about you. Sure, I can help you, but it's not free. Fifty caps, take it or leave it. Okay. Hold still. I don't want to make this any more painful than it already is. Think I'll go get some lunch. See? That wasn't so bad. Anything else I can do for you? Sure thing. Here's what I have. Thanks. Take care of yourself. Yes, that's locked. And yes, I can see you eyeing it. This is a medical clinic. Please don't disturb any of my patients. You don't look too good. Come by the clinic and I'll patch you up.
Welcome to the Weatherly. Mr. Buckingham at your service. Please place your order. Oh, the mere 120 caps. Very good, sir. Yes, sir. Welcome to the Weatherly Hotel. I'm your hostess, Vera Weatherly. Well, I really shouldn't tell you, but have you heard about Polly Cantelli? He's addicted to Ken's. His poor wife, Cindy, is at her wit's end. Welcome back, sir. You haven't heard? Angela has the hots for Diego. But since he's a priest, he's been putting her off. One of these days, she's just going to jump his bones. They say Mr. Lopez is losing it. He stands on the top of the bridge tower for hours at a time, just staring out over the city. It's noisy, dark, and smelly. But we're safe here. No super mutants or raiders, and maybe Dr. Lee will find a way to get clean water for us. Only 120 caps. You won't get a better deal than that. Okay, then. Farewell. Welcome to Rivet City Supply. I've got a little bit of everything here. Hey there. Zimmer, by the time you get this message, I'll already be gone. I'm escaping the Commonwealth. I want to live my own life on my own terms, as my own man. I know what you're thinking, that I'm malfunctioning. I used to think that's what caused the runaways, too. But I know better now. Self-determination is not a malfunction. I'm not just willing to put up with all the bullshit anymore. You humans are going to have a full-fledged rebellion on your hands if you don't start treating us synths as persons. I know you'll be marshalling the Retention Bureau to come after me, but I know all the tricks of the trade. You won't be finding me, I assure you. By the time you get this, I will be someone else. It's the price I pay for my liberation. My final act of rebellion against a system I no longer believe in. Goodbye, Zimmer, and good riddance. If you're listening to this recording, it is because you're believed to be trustworthy. I hope that is the case, because this recording puts us both in danger. 
I'm escaping from the Commonwealth. I'm an android, a synthetic man, a slave. The men hunting me are ruthless and will stop at nothing to retrieve their property. I need to find a doctor in the wasteland to perform facial reconstruction. I also need someone who knows a great deal about computers. I need... I need to have my memories erased and my face altered to look like someone else. We now have a lipoplasticator and microdermal graftalizer. We just need to find someone with the skills and willingness to perform the surgery. If anyone knows of a discreet and trustworthy surgeon who knows how to keep his mouth shut, send him our way. Also, we need to find a circuit neuralizer to reroute the signal into the android's memory. Do you know any trustworthy techies? Is there a problem? Bannon and Dr. Lee and I all meet on Monday mornings to talk about citywide issues. It's pretty informal. The council doesn't have much real power. Carry on, then. been rather busy lately asking questions investigating so is that it you're some kind of investigator a detective for hire or do you have some kind of personal grudge against an innocent Android who simply wants to be left alone please tell me I'd really like to know Well, if that's true, then the first thing you need to do is halt your investigation. No more questions. No more searching. The movement I'm involved with, we help his kind escape their commonwealth-imposed slavery. We help them disappear. You understand? You really want help? Take this. It's an internal component from the very android you're searching for. Don't ask how I obtained it. Present it to Dr. Zimmer in Rivet City. Tell him the android is dead, and that was on the corpse. He'll believe you. Do that, and Zimmer will go back to the Commonwealth and leave that poor soul alone. Do that, and you'll save a man's life. We call ourselves the Railroad. Our mission is the rescue and salvation of synthetic humanoids. Androids, as they're more commonly known. Yes, if we are able, but there are others in the wasteland who assist in the plight of human slaves. Our android brethren have only us. Tell you what, you deliver that component to Zimmer and tell him the android is dead, and you can consider yourself a member in good standing. Just understand that this android is now, for all intents and purposes, a man. He looks human, he acts human, he believes he is human. But even if he's not, even if he's a machine, he's capable of rational thought and emotion. So you see, his soul is as human as yours or mine. 
This person, and he is a person, deserves a chance at freedom. Please, if there's a shred of decency in you, don't take that away from him. You know what you need to do.
search for anything of yours that might help me get this purifier up and running. All I know is that it's west of some place called Evergreen Mills. And it's well hidden in some sort of garage. But I'll find it. I have to. It's so close. But that's the story of Project Purity, isn't it? An eternity of almost theirs. Let's see if Braun has the missing puzzle piece. 